now that we have successfully installed our project and installed Laravel Breeze also, it's time for us to talk some little bit about the routes in Laravel and Inertia. So if I come to routes and web.php in here, I already have some predefined routes. For now, we don't need them. So let's delete all of them and let's create our own route from start so we can know how we can render a page and how we can pass data from the routes to our page. So first of all, let's create a new route. So in Inertia.js, when you are working with Inertia.js to create a route, you will type route colon colon Inertia, then the URL, uh, for example, student, then after that in the second parameter you will pass the view path so uh, in our case let's create a view let's go to our resources js not in the view js then in here we have pages in here we will create a new folder with the name of student then inside this we will create a new file with the name of index.jsx and for now we will just display a text in here so let's create a react function component so let's type export default then function and the page name is student then inside this we will return a simple day for now so let's type Dave and his two dance now we have to pass the path of this index.jsx to our second parameter so it's inside students folder so it's student slash index that's it Let's save. Now, if we go to our browser, in here, let's type students, then press enter. We got our text as a student. Now, let's see how we can pass some data from our routes to our index.jsx and display our data in here. So for that, let's comment this out and create a new route. Then in the first parameter, let's type our URL and in the second parameter, we will type our view path, which is students slash index. And finally, in the third parameter, we will pass our data. So in here, we will pass our data as an array, as a key and value. So for example, let's type here something like ABC and give it a value. Then let's create one more and give this one a value as well. So now we want to display this two data inside our index.jsx. So for that, first of all, we before our method, let's import use page. So let's type here use page from inertia slash re i. And inside our function, we will create a const and with the name of our parameters which is a b c and d d then we will set it to use page dot props and finally inside our return in here we can access our props so let's delete this one and in here let's type students then in here in the first paragraph let's display our first prop so a b c and inside this our first prop and finally let's create one more then display our second prop so dv that's it let's save everything and let's go to our browser now in here as you guys can see i got my both data which is ABC equal to this and BB. Okay, for BB with the not gate, let's see. Okay, it's 
بيبي اه ويدو رود دي دي ليتس سيف ليتس جو باي ناو وي جوت اور داتا ان هير بيبي اولسو سو اف وي تشينج ذس تو 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 اند ذس ون اي بي سي دي ناو ليتس جو باك ليتس ويت ناو وي جوت اور نيو داتا ان هير ناو ليتس سي هاو وي كان فيتش the route parameters for example if you have a name in here and a last name and you want to display these two parameters in here so let's see how we can do that so let's go back to our project and in the web.php let's comment this out and in here let's create a new route with the type of gate and pass our students url then after that we will type slash and we will type the name of our first parameter which is uh, for example name and you can pass as many parameters as you want so in the second parameter i will pass the last name and in the second parameter of the gate in here we will create a callback function and pass the name and dollars and last name as a parameter then inside this callback function we will return So let's type return inner shia colon colon render and in the render method we will pass the view path so in our case it's inside student and index so let's type here student slash index and in the second parameter of this we will open an array and inside this we will pass the key and value so the key will be something for example name is it would be dollar sign name and last name will be dollar sign last name now let's save everything and let's go back in here let's change abc to name and this one also to name and bbb to last name same thing that we wrote in here so let's copy this and paste it here paste it, this one also here so this is optional if you want to you can change this also or keep it as it is so last name now let's save everything let's go back to our browser and let's press enter now we got our name and our last name which we wrote in here if i change this to student one and the last name should be student last name enter now we got our name as student one and also our last name as student last name in here you can also make these parameters as an optional parameters by going to our uh, web.php in here by just adding a quotation mark in front of your parameters so let's add a quotation mark in here and give the a default value so for example the name by default should be guest and last name also let's give him a default value as well so last name user Now, if I go back and in here, refresh. Right now, I'm I'm getting a student one and a student last name. But if I delete this one, I will get the name as a student one and the last name as a user. So if I delete this parameter as well. I got the name as a guest and the last name as a user now let's see how we can create a fallback route so for example if i tap here a route which is not available in my project i will get this 404 not found we can create our own custom 404 page so let's go to our web.php but before this let's create a new page first of all let's create a new folder in here let's call it errors And in here, let's create a new file and name it notfound.jsx and export default 
function and the function name not found and in here let's return turn a simple div in here so let's say not found and inside our web.php to display this page we will just type route colon colon fall back and in here we will create a callback function then inside this callback function we will return return inertia so let's type inertia colon colon render then our view part which is errors in here errors slash not found now let's save everything let's go back now let's refresh now we got our text in here as not found you can add some styles and give it some more text the way you want so this is how you can create your fallback route